Hello and welcome to Tiger Stadium in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Exhibition 1A College Football is upon us. I'm Jake Sorensen and with me as always in the booth is Jim Peppers. Louisiana State is the home team. What can we expect from them today, Jim? Well, Jake, this unit can be effective rushing the ball. And the question is, will they step up and show this defense who's boss? It's going to be interesting to see how they fare. Mississippi State is their opponent today. How do they stack up? Well, Jake, they are definitely overmatched by their opponent in the passing game today. They're really going to have to step it up if they want to move the ball through the air. Thanks, Jim. Let's head down to the field for the coin toss. We'll take tails. They call they tails. Call tails. 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 Tails it tails is. It is. They Mississippi State has elected to receive and they are headed to the field for the kickoff. Number 40 is ready for the opening kickoff. Good kick here. Number 3 fields it deep. The 25, number 4, makes the tackle on the return. They've got the ball. Let's see if they can take care of business. Ball on the 25. Number 16 from the gun throws a gain of 13. First down. Number 80 had two guys in his face there and came away with the football. Oh, yeah, baby. Now that's the way you do it. It's brilliant how he played one against the other, using their weakness to sow dissension and crushing their alliance. Actually, he just caught the football. It wasn't quite that complicated. It's first and ten. Number 80 will sit this play out. Number 16 is back to throw again. Throws right. Number 36 makes the hit. From the shotgun, they dump it out right. Second down. One yard to go. Second and less than a yard. Number 15 will sit this play out. Takes the outside path and picks up two and first down. Picked up a few yards he needed for the first down. Ten yards to go. Ball at the 50-yard line. Number 16 drops back. He's pressured. Bro. Number 56 makes the tackle after several yards on the play. They toss this one out left and complete it. But there was not a lot of room to work with. Maybe a couple there. It's second and five. Flag on the play. Let's get the call. Holding. Offense. Offense. Number 15 penalty. obviously didn't have his Repeat man if he had to resort down. to offensive holding like that. Good call. Ball on the 45. Number 15 gets set after committing the penalty. 
Number 16 fades back, throws left. Incomplete. Number 16 looked a little jumpy there and overthrew his receiver. Looks like he's gotten his pass groove on this drive. He's been right on target. The Bulldogs are in the shotgun. Number 16 from the gun. He's pressured. Spirals it middle. That'll bring up fourth and very, very long. Number 16 had trouble with that zone in permanent lockdown. Outstanding coverage. If he continues playing a one-man zone so well, that secondary can really topple this offensive game plan. You know, that's right. It basically erases that receiver off the blackboard totally. Number 43 takes position for his first punt of the game. It's away. Number 31 catches it. Number 11 will make the tackle on the return. It's their turn on offense. Let's see what they do. First and 10. Number 18 drops back. He's pressured. Throws. It's caught middle. Good looking pass and catch. That's a big game and the first down. Number 24 makes the biggest tackle in the game so far. When we say stop here, I want to show you something. All daylight. That's how you do it. Hit him and then wrap him up like a burrito. Ball at the 42-yard line. Number 47 is off the right tackle. Impressive run around the outside for a healthy gain and the first down. Number 22 lowers his shoulder and delivers some pain by speedy delivery. Ooh, that's a pain that's going to linger. You're going to want to put some ice on that, buddy. Boy, he doesn't get around, does he? Ball on the 31. Number 22 lines up behind the quarterback. Escapes out of the backfield. Number 98 nails him after a couple of yards. Got a few yards there off the first down carry. Well, it's not a lot, but it's tremendously important to get positive yards on first down. It's now second and six. Third down coming up. It's now third and six. The Tigers line up with their tight end right. Number 18 fades back, dumps it left. Number 14 was the intended receiver on that play, incomplete. Boy, somebody wasn't where they were supposed to be. That pass was way off the radar screen. I know, what happened there? Some serious miscommunication, I'm thinking. Number 40 lines up for the first quarter lead. It's up. It's no good off to the right. He surprises everybody, especially himself, by not nailing the field goal there, Jake. Boy, he had a good look at it too, Jim. Something must have thrown him off. Yeah, I wonder if somebody on the other team yelled Noonan right before he kicked. <laughs> that works once in a while. First and 10. The Bulldogs line up with their tight end left. Number 16 from shotgun. Spirals it left. It's tipped. Incomplete pass. Number 80 got to the outside like he wanted, but then missed the catch and couldn't capitalize on it. Ball at the 27-yard line. Five, 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 five. 
Laterals. Moves wide right. The 40. Number 42 lines up for the point after. It's up. 42 tacks on the extra point. Mississippi State puts up the first points of the game. They lead 7-0. Number 42 will kick this one away. Nice kickoff. Number three fields it in the end zone. Number two comes in and makes the tackle on the return. Ball on the 19. Number 18 from the gun. Number 18 rolls out. Bro. A gain of 12. Number 8 makes the catch and what looked to be nearly impossible triple coverage. Let's watch that again. Somehow, this ball makes it into his hands and he locks on. He took an awful big risk throwing into that kind of coverage, Jim. I'd call it insane, Jake. They should consider themselves lucky that it didn't get picked off, although I'm not discounting a great catch by the receiver. It's first and 10. Number 8 will sit this play out. Number 18 will put it in the air again. Louisiana State has it. Number 22 is brought down after a heads-up play to get to the loose ball and maintain possession for the offense. Number 22 really saved his team's bacon. Watch here. Nice grab to maintain possession. That would have been disastrous for this offense. They can't cough it up like that. It's now second and 12. The Tigers line up with two wideouts. Number 18 steps back, dumps it off. Tip! That'll bring up third and long. Number 47 had his turf in the middle, but the pass just didn't come together. He really has to be the guy who his quarterback can rely on to make those. It's now third and 12. Number 18 will throw once again. He's pressured. Throws middle. He's tackled, and that's his second catch of the day. Number 18 threw a solid, accurate pass into coverage there. Watch. Right by the defender. Ball at the 46-yard line. Number 47 lines up off right tackle. Number 18 from shotgun pitches it. Number 40 runs him down and makes the tackle in the backfield for a loss. Second down. Number 40 knocked them back so far they're going to have to get their mail forwarded to them. What a shot. Oh, beautiful tackle. Certainly not what the offense was looking for there. Ball on the 46. Number 18 drops back. He's pressured, throws left. That'll bring up third and short. Third down. 
Makes the completion. Let's see that again. A decent throw. You make those consistently, and you're one of the top generals in the NCAA. Absolutely. He's accurate, and he's got some firepower behind that arm. It's third and two. Number 13 will sit this play out. Number 22 with the carry. That'll bring up fourth and about a foot. Carried this one away right. And he picked up a couple. The thing is, he needed a couple more to get the first. One yard to go. They're going for it on fourth and inches. The Tigers go with the I formation. 25, the 20, huge pickup to convert on fourth down. Good play call, terrific execution, and that will keep the drive alive. Number 22 has an overwhelming job to do and doesn't back down. Watch this fantastic run, culminating in the first down. Ball at the 21-yard line. Number 22 lines up behind the quarterback. Number two makes that tackle his fourth. Got the pitch there, slid off the right hip of his center. But he's barely past the line of scrimmage before he's stopped. It's second and nine. The Tigers line up with three wide outs. Number 18 fades back. He's pressured. Spirals it right. The pass is incomplete. Number 47 swung out to the outside and was in good shape to get some yards. But when the pass came his way, he just wasn't able to work with it. That's too bad. Yeah, you can't let those get past you when it counts like that. It's third and nine. Number 18 will put it up again. Bro, that'll bring up fourth and long. Number 47, saw that one come way in front of him. Hey, if he knew it was coming, the receiver might have been able to sprint forward and snag it. Yeah, but he was totally caught by surprise. You know, they need to get on the same page. It will be a 37-yard attempt. It's away. He missed it wide right. The pressure got to him, I think, and he was unable to put it through the uprights. You know, he's a pretty confident guy. I think he'll bounce back. It's first and 10. Number 16 from the gun. He's pressured, spirals at middle, incomplete pass. Number 84 was more right than right there, and the ball drifted to the left, and he missed it. I have no idea what you just said there, Jimmy. Ball on the 20. Number 36 makes the tackle. That's number two on the day. Carried this one just left of center. And he got a couple, but there's still a ways to go to move the chains. Third and eight. Number 16 steps back, tosses middle. Number 80 was the intended receiver, incomplete pass. Number 36 positioned himself perfectly to act as a human fence between the quarterback and the receiver and caused the incompletion. Very impressive. Number 43 will punt for the second time. Nice punt. 
number 31 has it. Number two makes the tackle on the return. They had him sewn up tight, almost allowing no time for a return. There's the hit. That's some heads up coverage by the punt squad. Ball at the 33 yard line. The Tigers line up with two tight ends. Forty-five, the forty, the thirty-five, the twenty-five, the fifteen, five, and he's in for the score. Number twenty-two kept the juice on all the way down the field. Oh boy, this is an awesome run, and here's the sweetest part: touchdown! Wow, that was highlight material for sure. Fantastic run from way out there. Number 40 sets up the extra point. There's the kick. 40 is good for the extra point. Louisiana State deadlocks the game. Number 40 is back to kick it away. This will send them deep. Number three catches it deep. Number one makes the stop on the return. First down. First and 10. Number 16 from shotgun. Bro, the pass is incomplete. Number 16 thought he had a good read, but he didn't count on such great zone coverage. Terrific coverage, Jim. It was only single zone, but it was effective. Yeah, give that defender a pat on the back. He did a great job. He's struggling. Let's see if he can find his mojo and get back on track. The Bulldogs are going with four wideouts. Number 16 will pass again. Gets a block. Throws middle. That will fall incomplete, and that's their second in a row. Number 80 was open over the middle. No excuses for not getting a completion there. Third and 10. <laughs> 16 from shotgun. Throws. He's tackled, but he's past the sticks for the first down. Big third and long conversion. It's the end of the first quarter, and we have a tie game, 7-7. Seven, seven. Number 84 had two guys in his face there and came away with the football. Oh, yeah, baby. Now that's the way you do it. It's brilliant how he played one against the other, using their weakness to sow dissension and crushing their alliance. Actually, he just caught the football. It wasn't quite that complicated. Ball on the 36. Number 84 is off the right tackle. Number 16 drops back. He's pressured. Short throw down the middle. A gain of nine. Lots of holes over the middle, boy. They are getting some nice looks in the center of the field. Second and about a foot. Number eight is wide right. 
Number 84 laid into him and stopped that play dead in the backfield. Nice job. Oh, my. Nice play by the defense. They picked the runner up quickly and stopped him in his tracks. It's third and two. Nice block. Humble. Louisiana State has it. Moves wide left. The 20. 10. The 5. And he's in for the touchdown. Look at this. Where did that come from? Number 40 lines up for the point after. It's up. 40 tacks on the extra point. Louisiana State takes the lead with that score, 14-7. Number 40 sets up and will kick it away. It's away. Number three makes the catch. Number one will make the tackle on the return. First down. Ball at the 31-yard line. The Bulldogs are in the I formation. Number five comes in and makes the tackle. Second down. Number three looked like a bull on a rampage. Get a load of this run. He catches the defender off guard and just sends him flying. That's an example of a kid running with confidence. It's second and five. Number three is lined up behind the quarterback. Number three gets it again. Number five hammers him after a couple of yards. Only yielded a couple on that play, but they are very close to the first. Let's see if they can pick it up. Third and one. The Bulldogs line up in shotgun formation. Number 16 from the gun gets a block. Bro. On third and short, they get the first down and a big gain on the play. First down. Number 15 juggles this one a bit, but maintains his cool and pulls it in. Good hands as he gains control. Jim, you've got to appreciate the concentration to stay with it and make the catch. Oh, no doubt, Jim. Especially when in the back of your mind, you know there are 11 guys out there coming at you to knock the stuffing out of you. First and 10. Number 15 will sit this play out. Number five gets the tackle. Credit him with number three for the game. Second down. Number 33 hammers home a colossal stiff arm on this move here. Oh, look out, coming through. I don't think I would have gotten in his way on that play. Me neither. Definitely meant business on that run and gets him the yards. Ball on the 39. Number 33 lines up behind the quarterback. It'll be third and long. Number 93 gets loose and takes the ball carrier down for a big loss, as we'll see here in the replay. Oh, that's just a nice defensive play all around.
Third and eight. The Bulldogs line up with three wideouts. Number 16 from shotgun. He's pressured throw. Nice pickup on the third and long, and he gets the first down easily. First down. Number 80 handles an overthrown catch like it was perfectly accurate. Man alive, he spins in midair to make that catch. Ball at the 28-yard line. Number 80 will sit this play out. Number 16 is back to throw again. Dumps it off. The pass falls incomplete. Number 84 had that one in his sights but couldn't make the catch. Second and 10. Number 16 from the gun, throw. They made the tackle, but he was able to get his third reception of the game. First down. Number 80 makes an amazing catch here in double coverage. Wow, let's roll that one again. He splits the defenders and comes down with it. Jim, they couldn't have covered him any better. How do you stop him? Boy, I don't know, maybe triple coverage. Ball on the 18. Number 80 will sit this play out. Number 16 will put it in the air again. Throws right. A gain of 12. First down. Number 15 did a great job nabbing the catch in a very crowded neighborhood. Let's see the tape. Man, that's a great catch against double coverage. That's so difficult to do, Jim, especially when both defenders are working together like that. Tell me about it. He almost became the boiled ham in a defender sandwich. <laughs> First and goal. Number 15 is to the left. Number 16 fades back, tosses middle, incomplete. Number 84 couldn't get to it. Oh, the quarterback let him just a bit too much. That's a frustrating play. It's second and goal. bring up third down. Third and goal. The Bulldogs have two receivers in. Number three will carry again. It'll be fourth and inches. Number three extended his run a bit with a real style and play. Watch here. A nice spin move pulls the defense out of position and gets him a little more real estate. He's got an arsenal of trick moves like that, Jim. And he knows just which one to pull out to do the maximum amount of damage. Number 42 lines up for the field goal. It's away. He missed it wide left. Oh, you can't make them all, but boy, you want to make those little dingers. No question. He was close enough to bounce it off his head soccer style and put it between the upright. It's first and ten. Gain of two. Gain just a couple of yards there. Well, it's not much, but it sure makes play calling easier when you can get positive gains on first down. Eight yards to go. Ball at the 22-yard line. Shotgun, left, left. 
Number 18 from shotgun, Rowe. Number 47 was the intended receiver, incomplete. Number 47 did everything he should have on that pass except the part where you catch the ball. Yeah, and I'd say that's a pretty important part. Yeah, he's not going to be getting any calls from the big leagues if he lets that become a habit. You got to catch those, buddy. Third and eight. It'll be fourth and long. Number 80 takes position for his first punt of the game. There's the punt. Number 10 catches it. Number 33 with the tackle on the return man. They had him sewn up tight, almost allowing no time for a return. There's the hit. That's some heads up coverage by the punt squad. Ball on the 40. The Bulldogs have one man back. Number 16 steps back. Rowe. Penalty flag down. Let's find out what it's for. Pass interference. Defense. Come on, defense. No penalty. Number 36 crossed way over from trying to block the pass to physically disrupting the receiver. And that's pass interference. The Bulldogs will have the first down off the penalty. Number 36 gets set after committing the penalty. Number 16 will throw once again. Spirals it right. Caught in the flats. The 20. The 10. Penalty marker down on the play. Let's listen to the call. Holding. Holding. Offense. Offense. Ten yard Ten penalty. penalty. Repeat, Repeat, first down. Watch how this play turns out. Now that's the way you do it. The Bulldogs have a first after the big pass on that last play. Number 84 lines up off left tackle. Number 16 drops back, bro. There's a penalty marker on the play. Let's listen into the call. Pass interference. Pass interference. Defense. Defense. Focus. Focus. First Number 36 had his hands foul. all over that receiver. Boy, you'd think they were dating. I mean, you can't tell me he was trying to catch the football. That's pass interference. The Bulldogs will have the first down off the penalty. Number 36 gets set after committing the penalty. Number 16 will put it up again. Bro. He's tackled, and that's his second catch of the day. First down. Number 84 had two guys in his face there and came away with the football. Oh, yeah, baby. Now that's the way you do it. It's brilliant how he played one against the other, using their weakness to sow dissension and crushing their alliance. Actually, he just caught the football. It wasn't quite that complicated. It's first and ten. Number 84 lines up off right tackle. Number 16 fades back, gets a block, short throw down the middle. Number 56 makes the tackle. That's number two on the day. They dump off over the middle and complete it for a nice pickup on first down. Three yards to go. It's second and about three. The Bulldogs are going with a two tight end set. Number 33 with the ball. It'll be third and short. Picked up a few more yards there, but not enough for the first. They'll have third and short coming up. Defense. 
Third and one. They got the first by a small margin. Good effort by the offense there. He fought hard for that first down. He heads left, gets knocked around a little, but keeps getting forward progress. Nice job. Ball at the 22-yard line. Number 16 steps back. He's pressured, dumps it left. Well, he's put down, but not before he records his fourth grab of the game. First down. Number 15 builds on a solid reception and gets even more. Let's take another look. There's the catch, and now he sees some room and takes it. I know you agree with me that it's so critical for an offense to have guys who are going to fight for every yard. Oh, no question about it. It's first and goal. Number 15 will sit this play out. And he's in the end zone for six. Number 16 had just a few strides to go and takes it in himself. There's the score. Got to be happy with that one. Obviously, that puts the quarterback in a vulnerable spot. But on those short ones, he can get in before the D really catches on. Number 42 will line up for the point after. There's the kick. It's off to the left and no good. I can't believe they missed that extra point. Hope that won't come back to bite him. Mississippi State climbs to within striking distance as they are now down by the score of 14-13. Number 42 lines up, signals, and we're ready for the kickoff. The kick is up. Number 31 fields it deep. 30, number 56 comes in and makes the tackle on the return. Seventeen seconds to go. Lateral. A loss of three. Boy, oh boy. Nowhere to run, baby. Nowhere to hide. That's some great pursuit to get out that far and that quick. Top-notch play by the defense. Ball on the 28. It's the end of the first half. Louisiana State is currently enjoying the lead by a small margin, but it's anybody's game. 42 sets up and will kick it away to start the third quarter it's away number three has it number 26 makes the tackle on the return first and ten Number 18 drops back. Nice block. Bro. Incomplete. Number 88 almost made the play, but the ball was off to his left. The quarterback might have been just a bit quick on the trigger there, which affected his aim. Well, he better adjust those sights. That would have been caught if the throw was just a little bit more accurate. Second and 10. Number 18 will pass again. Throws. 
The pass again falls incomplete. Two in a row. Number 18 strapped a jet engine into a subcompact on that throw, Jake. Absolutely. He needs to take a deep breath so he's not rushing his throws. Yeah, because his read, it seems good. His distance, though, way off. Third and 10. The Tigers have their tight end to the right. Number 18 from the gun pitches. Number 48 breaks through and takes the runner down in the backfield for a small loss. Fourth down. Number 48 locks the door on that play and forces a tough fourth down. We need to see that one again. Sweet job there. He was all over that play from start to finish. Number 80 will punt for the second time. Nice punt. Number 10 makes the catch. Number 33 makes the stop on the return. Ball at the 37 yard line. Number 16 from shotgun. He's pressured, dumps it off, tip, incomplete pass. Number 80 was way in front of that catch, Jake. No way he could have gotten to it. As a quarterback, you can't expect a receiver to reverse course that quickly to rescue your wayward passes. Ball on the 37. Number 16 is back to throw again, throw. Third and long coming up. Number 16 thought his receiver had a fair shot at it, but the coverage was just too tight. You've got to admire a secondary that sticks with him that close. Third and 10. The Bulldogs are set up with their tight end left. Number 16 fades back. He's pressured, dumps it right. Number 56 with the tackle. They toss this one right side, and they complete it. Well, the thing is, they're still short of the first by only a yard or so. Number 43 sets up for his third punt of the game. It's away. Number 31 fields it. Number two will make the tackle on the return. First and ten. Put the points on the board. Number 18 steps back. He's pressured. Throw. Number 24 came up with a stop, his fifth today. Nice gain on first down. Well, I can't stress how big an advantage it is when you can get good positive yardage on first down. You can see that it's going to take more than arm tackles to bring him down. He's an absolute load. Number 22 is lined up behind the quarterback. Oh, great block. Number 22 off the draw. Clear path in front of him. 40, the 35, the 25, 15, the 5. Touchdown. Watch this again. There he makes the play. Number 40 sets up the extra point. It's up. 40 adds the extra point. Louisiana State extends their lead, but it's still within reach at 21-13.
Number 40 will kick this one away. Got his leg behind this one. Number three catches it deep. 20. Number 33 with the tackle on the return man. First down. Ball at the 25-yard line. Number 16 drops back, tosses middle. The 45, they made the tackle, but he was able to get his third reception of the game. First down. Number 84 shows why he's a playmaker. Watch here. Here's the catch, and then he's tearing up the turf. Boy, he got a bunch more, which is part of a receiver's job. You want to get every yard you can. You know, he really has an excellent field awareness. He knew exactly where he was, and most importantly, where the defense was. Ball on the 46. Number 84 is off the right tackle. Number 16 from the gun, bro. He closes in and makes the stop, but that's reception number seven. They dumped it out right from the shotgun. One yard to go. Second and inches. Number eight will sit this play out. He's down close to the marker, and it looks like he just got enough for the first down. First down. Ten yards to go. Ball at the 43-yard line. Number 16 from shotgun. He's pressured. Number 54 takes him down and will get credit for the sack. Number 54 punches through his man like he was wallpaper and gets to the quarterback and then inflicts some real pain. I thought their protection scheme was pretty sound, but they were able to just blow through it. Just like his daddy taught him. <laughs> just got to want it more than the other guy, that's all. It's now second and 16. He's pressured. Loose ball. Mississippi State has it. Number 63 was fortunate to recover the fumble for the offense and prevent the costly turnover. Let's go to the videotape and see what caused that fumble. We can see the ball come loose there. Solid impact, and out comes the ball. That's what you want. Hit the guy so hard he struggles to hang on to the ball. It's third and 19. Number 16 from the gun. Short throw down the middle. Number 11 makes the tackle just past the line for a very short gain. Nice play. I love to see defense working like that on third down, Jake. You know, it's all about stopping them when it counts. Number 43 is back to take the snap for his fourth punt of the game. Good punt here. Number 31 catches it. Number 2 comes in and makes the tackle on the return. Oh, take a look at special teams coverage on the punt. Simply outstanding. He gets the ball, and then boom, he's taken down before he could get anywhere. That's just fantastic coverage. He really didn't even have a chance at any kind of a return. <laughs> ball on the 16. I think I'm going to keep you here for a while. He's pressured. Number 18 rolls outside. Bro, the pass is no good, incomplete. Number 13 was in a playmaking position on the outside, but just wasn't able to close on the deal. Boy, that's frustrating to fight your way to a decent spot on the field and then not be able to use it. You know, it's kind of like taking a beautiful girl on a date and then leaving your wallet at home. Ball at the 16-yard line. 
The Tigers set up in the eye. Number 18 will put it in the air again. Tosses left. Number three was the intended receiver on that play incomplete. Number three was a yard short and a day late on that pass. It was just too far in front of him to be catchable. Third and ten. Number 18 from shotgun. Bro. Nice pickup on the third and long, and he gets the first down easily. Number 13 looks downright purdy as he makes that catch. Leaps up into the air, gets both hands on the football, then comes back to earth. What impressed me about that is that he had total control the instant his hands touched the football. And you're in good hands when he's making the catch. It's first and 10. Number 13 will sit this play out. No gain on the play. This was designed to go way out to the six gap, but he took it way, way left of that. Well, you're not going to pick up many yards when you're not following the blocking. Second and 10. Number 18 fades back. He's pressured, dumps it off. A gain of 12. Number three makes an amazing catch here in double coverage. Wow, let's roll that one again. He splits the defenders and comes down with it. Jim, they couldn't have covered him any better. How do you stop it? Boy, I don't know, maybe triple coverage. Ball on the 43. Down. Number three lines up left. Number 18 will throw once again. He's pressured. Number 40 crushes the quarterback for a loss and will get credit for the first sack of the game. The Bulldogs only needed three guys on the rush to take out this quarterback there. Look at this. Ooh, he's going to be feeling that one till Wednesday. Those boys really got the best of the offensive line. That's a bit embarrassing when a three-man rush gets to the quarterback. Ball at the 40-yard line. The Tigers will go with two wide receivers. Number 18 steps back. He's pressured. Short throw to the right. 27 makes the tackle his fourth. Number 14 did a great job nabbing the catch in a very crowded neighborhood. Let's see the tape. Man, that's a great catch against double coverage. That's so difficult to do, Jim, especially when both defenders are working together like that. Tell me about it. He almost became the boiled ham in a defender sandwich. <laughs> Outstanding protection for this quarterback today. He's had plenty of time to sit back and pick and choose his targets at will. Number 14 lines up wide right. That'll bring up fourth down. Fourth down. Four yards to go. Number 80 sets up for his third punt of the game. It's off. Number 10 has it. Number 33 makes a terrific tackle and holds the return man to a very small gain. Nice job. They had him sewn up tight, almost allowing no time for a return. There's the hit. That's some heads up coverage by the punt squad. Ball on the 16. The Bulldogs look like they're going with the shotgun. Number 16 from the gun, bro. It's tips. The pass is incomplete. Number 15 was open over the middle. No excuses for not getting a completion there. Second and 10. Right, right, right. 
Number 16 will put it up again. Number 16 on the rollout, tosses middle. Number 56 applies the stopper, his seventh tackle of the game. They rolled out and then dumped this one over the middle and get the completion for several yards. Not enough for the first, but still a nice game. Third and inches. Number 35 will sit this play out. Number three will run it. He's taken down, but easily gets enough to convert on third and short. First down. Number three makes a no-frills run here, but I like that. He knows his job, and that job is getting the first down. There's the tackle. Got to move those markers, Jim. Good play. It's first and ten. Number three lines up behind the quarterback. Number 16 drops back. He's pressured, sits tight, throws right. The pass is incomplete. It's the end of the third quarter. Louisiana State is currently enjoying a slight advantage, 21-13. Ball at the 34-yard line. Number 16 will pass again. Bro, that will fall incomplete, and that's their second in a row. Number 16 was stymied by some great zone coverage there. He'll be thinking twice before he throws into his yard again. Third and 10. Number 16 is back to throw again. Number 16 rolls out, spirals it left. Fourth down coming up. That was three incompletions in a row. Not a good series for the offense. Number 16 threw the ball out of bounds there, but why, I don't know. He wasn't being pressured at all. It's like he had somewhere else to be, so he just chucked it out of bounds to get it over with. Number 43 will punt for the fifth time. There's the punt. Number 31 makes the catch. Number two makes the tackle on the return. Ball on the 44. The Tigers are going with three wide receivers. He's pressured. Spirals at middle. Tips. Incomplete pass. Number 18 obviously thought he could finesse his pass past the two defenders, but it was incomplete. Second and 10. Number 18 from shotgun. Throws. That'll bring up third and long. Number 18 threw that pass way over the head of the intended receiver. You see that quite a bit at the college level. These young QBs just get a bit anxious at times. Jake, come on. They're just hyped up. What coach doesn't want that, huh? <laughs> third and 10. The Tigers line up with a single setback. Number 18 will put it in the air again. Spirals it right. He's down, but he's past the marker. That's a nice job to convert on third and long. Ball at the 44-yard line. Number 13 is to the left. Number 18 from the gun. He's pressured. Drops way back. Number 92 makes a nice defensive play. He drops him for a loss in the backfield. Second down. 
Number 92 gets in and throws the offense for a first down loss. Take a look at this again. Boom, catches him in the backfield. Wow, huge loss, Jim. Do you think something went wrong there, or was that all great defense? Jake, perhaps a little of both on that one. Ball on the 47. Number 18 from shotgun. Throws. It'll be third down. Third down. Number three makes a great catch despite being in a zone that was more crowded than a bar on nickel beer night. Watch this one. How he reeled that in, I'll never understand. Why he got that pass, I'll never understand. There were three guys covering it. Hey, remember when you were young enough to think that throwing into triple coverage was a good idea? <laughs> I do, almost. It's third and five. Number three is wide right. Number 18 will throw once again. He's pressured, throws. He's tackled, but they are well past the chain gang. First down. Got several there and picked up the first. Nice pass. Ball at the 30-yard line. Number 14 lines up left. Number 18 fades back. He's pressured. Throws middle. Number three was looking for the ball, but it falls incomplete. Where was that pass going? Those two were not on the same page at all. Second and ten. Number 18 from the gun. He's pressured. Throws right. They made the tackle, but he was able to get his third reception of the game. Number 68. Ball on the 14. Number 3 will sit this play out. Number 18 will put it up again. Number 18 pulls outside, a gain of 12. They rolled out and then dumped this one over the middle and completed for a healthy gain. More importantly, however, they moved the chains. Nice play. They'll have four chances to put it in. First and goal. Number 47 lines up off right tackle. Number 22 with the carry. Number 56 gets the tackle. Credit him with number three for the game. Took this one off his right guard, but there wasn't much room past the line of scrimmage on that one. Second and goal. Gets a block. Number 22 gets it again. And touchdown. He adds another touchdown. Make that three trips to the end zone today. Number 22 simply overpowered his man for the touchdown. Bam! It's not often you see a charge like that be so effective. Well, it's not often you see a ball carrier bring that direct a charge, Jim. He's a tremendous physical player. Number 40 lines up for the point after. It's away. 40 is good for the extra point. Louisiana State takes a two-score cushion, but anything can happen. They're up 28-13. Number 40 lines up for the kickoff. It's off. Number 10 fields it deep. Number 1 makes the stop on the return. First down. First and 10. 
The Bulldogs line up in the eye. Number 16 steps back. He's pressured. Throw. The pass falls incomplete. Number eight couldn't haul it down. Man, that pass should have been easier than a four-piece jigsaw puzzle. Ball at the 27-yard line. Number 16 will pass again. Sits tight. Throw. Incomplete. Number 80 swung around to the outside, but unfortunately the pass was outside his hands. Third and 10. Number 16 drops back, dumps it off. It'll be fourth and short. I still don't understand it when a team runs this kind of play, Jake. It's third down, and they run around inside the first down markers. There's the catch, but he's not even close. I think they were gambling on the receiver to get the first down after the catch. True, but I just think it would be easier to run the route a few yards deeper, and then the receiver doesn't have to worry about trying to make something happen. Number 43 lines up, and this will be his sixth punt of the game. Gets off a good one. Number 31 fields it. Number two makes a great special teams play and prevents that return from going anywhere. Whoa, take a look at special teams coverage on the punt. Simply outstanding. He gets the ball, and then boom, he's taken down before he could get anywhere. That's just fantastic coverage. He really didn't even have a chance at any kind of a return. <laughs> ball on the 21. Number 18 fades back. He's pressured. Tip. It's incomplete. Number 47 had his turf in the middle, but the pass just didn't come together. He really has to be the guy who his quarterback can rely on to make those. Second and 10. Number 18 from shotgun, dumps it right. That'll bring up third and about a foot. Nice pass, and that will make this third down a whole lot easier coming up here. One yard to go. Third and less than a yard. Number 14 lines up wide right. Number 49 with the ball. He takes it outside for a nice little five-yarder and picks up the first. Number 49 says, not today, pal. Check this out. What do you think, Jake? After that hit, I'm not sure which hurts worse, Jim, the defender or the defender's pride. On a play like that, I'd say a little of both, Jake. First and ten. Number 49 is lined up behind the quarterback. Number 18 steps back. He's pressured. Throw. Well, he's put down, but not before he records his fourth grab of the game. Number 14 makes the catch in what looked to be nearly impossible triple coverage. Let's watch that again. Somehow, this ball makes it into his hands and he locks on. He took an awful big risk throwing into that kind of coverage, Jim. I'd call it insane, Jake. They should consider themselves lucky that it didn't get picked off, although I'm not discounting a great catch by the receiver. Ball at the 47-yard line. Number 14 is to the left. Number 18 is back to throw again. Short throw to the left. Number 47 makes the tackle to hold him to a short gain of a few. They dumped it out right from the shotgun and get the completion, but there wasn't much room past the line of scrimmage on that one. Ball on the 49. 
The Tigers have two tight ends in. Thirty-five. Great looking run to the outside. First down. Number 22 was on fire that play. He kept it floored all the way downfield and does not stop until finally they get a piece of him. Jim, what do you think of going back to him right away? Hey, why not? He just showed us what he can do. Ball at the 35-yard line. Number 22 lines up behind the quarterback. Number 22 will carry again. Number 56 takes him down after a medium game. A pickup of four yards on the play. Number 40, it's now second and six. Six yards to go. Number 22 is the lone back. He's pressured. Number 18 is flushed out. Number 48 makes the tackle. That's number two on the day. Third down. Number 48 is going to just fly into the backfield completely untouched. And then puts the bad touch on the quarterback. Oh, my. It's now third and 12. The Tigers set up with their tight end on the right. Number 22 will run it. Fourth and long coming up. The defense did a good job on that play. They allowed a couple of yards, but stopped them when it counted to put the offense in a fourth down situation. Long way to go, a 52-yard attempt. There's the kick. He missed it wide left. He had to send the ball an awfully long ways and didn't make it. Tough break. One minute, 44 seconds on the game clock. The Bulldogs line up with their tight end left. He's pressured. Number 16 on the rollout. Spirals it middle. He's taken down, but gets the first down by a couple of chain links. First down. Number 80 has got three hungry sharks circling him, and he still manages to catch the ball. Look at this. Nice catch. Any one of those guys could have easily broken up that play, even picking off the pass. Why throw it to him, Jim? Well, it shows a lot of confidence in his receiver, but as a former quarterback, I say to you, never throw into triple coverage. It's just too risky. It's first and ten. Number 80 will sit this play out. Spikes this one and stops the clock. Second down. Ten yards to go. Number 40, a minute and a half on the game clock. Number 16 from the gun. He's pressured. Bro, it'll be third and long. Number eight couldn't make the catch, Jake, although he looked ready for it. Some wires got crossed there. That ball was significantly to the right of where the receiver was. Third and ten. The Bulldogs have four wide receivers. Number 16 will put it in the air again. He's pressured. Bro. The pass again falls incomplete. Two in a row. Number eight. Saw that one come way in front of him. Hey, if he knew it was coming, the receiver might have been able to sprint forward and snag it. Yeah, but he was totally caught by surprise. You know, they need to get on the same page. A minute 22 on the clock. Number 43 is ready for his seventh punt of the game. 
It's away. Number 31 catches it. Number two will make the tackle on the return. Ball on the 23. The Tigers go with the I formation. Number 18 drops back. He's pressured. Throw. Number 27 applies the brakes yet again. His sixth tackle. Mississippi State exercises their first time out. They toss this one right side and complete the pass for a nice gain. Second and less than a yard. Number 47 is off the left tackle. He bursts around the corner, picks up about seven, and gets the first down. Number 22 shoved his way forward and gets some yards. Fine example of physical football, don't you think, Jake? Absolutely, Jim. He wouldn't have gotten squatted if he hadn't backed it up with a little rough stuff. Ball at the 40-yard line. Number 22 is lined up behind the quarterback. Room on the right side. The 40, the 35. He slices his way through the defense for a big gain and the first down. Number 22 throws a tree trunk in the face of his man. Let's watch that one again. Boom! I always love it when the offense gets just as physical as the defense. Right, you only need one arm to carry the football. Don't let the other one go to waste. The Tigers have a first after a big run on that last play. Number 22 lines up behind the quarterback. He laterals. Number 27 forces him out of bounds, and that will stop the clock. That play was drawn up to go off right tackle, but he took it elsewhere. He did pick up yards, however, thanks to some fancy feet and a little luck. 33 seconds left. Number 22 is lined up behind the quarterback. Number two puts him down, and he now has 11 stops on the day. Mississippi State will take a timeout, and that will be their second. He was supposed to take that one through the four gap, but he took it a mile to the right of that. Boy, Jake, if you're not going where your blockers are leading you, you're going to go nowhere. It's third and about three. That'll bring up fourth down. Fourth down. Three yards to go. Number 40 lines up for the field goal. It's up. The attempt is good for mid-range, and that will add three to the score. Number 40 delivers a solid kick here. No fuss, no muss. That's what you want to see on special teams. You want to be making those on automatic. There's the whistle, and that's the end of the game. Louisiana State wins easily by the lopsided score of 31-13. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. As always, it's been a pleasure to bring you today's game. Be sure to catch us next week for more of the best of NCAA football.